Since Matt Wells was fired from Texas Tech, the Red Raiders are looking for a new head coach. If you paid attention to the rumors and everything going around on social media, it looks like it's going to come down to SMU head coach Sonny Dykes and UTSA head coach Jeff Trailer. Both are very good and intriguing options, but the one who seems to have the most potential with the team is Jeff Trailer. In today's video, I want to talk about why he should be the next Texas Tech head coach, who he is, and why he is pegged as the guy to go there. But before we get into it, nearly 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, and we can do better than that, so be sure to hit that button, smash that like button for the algorithm, and turn on post notifications so you never miss when I upload. Now, let's get started. In order to understand why Texas Tech is in this spot, we're going to go back in time and quickly see what has happened. After Mike Leach left, they hired Cliff Kingsbury. He was the guy who helped Johnny Manziel at AM, and he was supposed to be the next big thing. Turns out, he's been pretty good in the NFL, but when it came to college, and despite gaudy numbers from his quarterbacks, Texas Tech was not winning a lot of games, and they weren't headed in the right direction. They decided to fire him and hire another dude. His name was Matt Wells. He was a two-time coach of the year in the Mountain West at Utah State, and he recently developed Jordan Love. Texas Tech thought he'd be a good guy to build the program, but in three years, Wells didn't really get the job done. In his first season, they lost to Kansas and missed a bowl game. In year two, they blew a ton of leads. And in year three, the team has just looked outmatched, especially against Texas, as they got murdered. Tech wanted an excuse to fire him because they had two great coaches in the area they wanted to hire. Sonny Dykes and Jeff Trailer are the two options, but let's talk about Trailer. He played at Stephen F. Austin and immediately went into coaching. He became one of the top high school coaches in the country in Texas and had become a legend in the area. He eventually took a job with Texas as the tight ends coach, where he became the Big 12 Recruiter of the Year. He then went over to SMU at Chad Morris, and after only one season there, they went over to Arkansas. He coached the running backs and helped recruit for him, and because of his ties to Texas and his ability to recruit, UTSA decided to hire him as their next head coach. In year one, he immediately turned things around. Led by Frank Harris and All-American running back Sincere McCormick, the Roadrunners went to a bowl game and lost number 16, Louisiana. He had a great first year, as the Roadrunners were actually picked to finish last in the conference that year. In 2021, they have blown up. They are 8-0 at the moment, since here McCormick's one of the top running backs in the country, and they have wins over Memphis and Illinois. While they aren't the biggest wins in the world, Memphis is one of the top group of five programs, and Illinois is a power five school, and both wins came on the road. They're now ranked 8-0, and they could legitimately go undefeated this year. All that for a program that was started only 10 years ago. It's pretty remarkable what Trailer has done, and I really think he can help Texas Tech. Not only has he shown the ability to build a program, but he can recruit in the state of Texas. Texas Tech is obviously located in Lubbock, and Trailer could build a culture of bringing in under-recruited Texas talent and guys from all around the area. I think this would be a ball and glove fit, and as of today, a lot of rumors began to surface today that Texas Tech had actually interviewed him, but that is only a rumor. At this point though, it's quite obvious that Texas Tech is going after him, and I really do think he'd be a great fit for that program. It's one of those things that just makes too much sense, and unless some other big school wants him, I think the job is his. The sad part about this though, is for the UTSA players, the season now isn't as fun. They should be able to enjoy all this without having to worry about their coach leaving, and we have not even hit November yet, or the best part of their season. I really hope Trailer finishes out the year at UTSA, the Roadrunners continue to win, and this becomes one of the best feel-good stories in the sport. From there, I'd love Trailer to get hired at Texas Tech and turn that program back around. What do you guys think though? What do you think of UTSA football? Who do you think Texas Tech will hire? And what topic should I do next? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Smash that like button if you want to support today's video and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.